so in my some of my other videos that i've been making on dangerous goods i've been making a series of videos on the carriage of dangerous goods by ships i have been mentioning the word magazine uh, that has used for loading or discharging explosives so i thought i'll make a video on magazines as well because uh, the storage of explosives and carriage of explosives in magazines is a normal thing that's how the explosives are carried on ships and explosives are class 1 of the dangerous goods category so this uh, video is all about storage and carriage of explosives uh, as dangerous goods on ships so if you have never seen what a magazine looks like this is one of the types uh, of magazines of course there are many types of magazines but this is one of the types i've got a picture from the internet for you guys and uh, this is what it looks like and this is what is used for it to store uh, the explosives in it before it is loaded onto the ships some ships however they, uh, if they are specializing in carrying explosives then they have inbuilt magazines in them but uh, most of the ships are not uh, like that so most of the ships are general cargo ships or container ships that are uh, carrying uh, explosives and in that case uh, these kind of uh, magazines are loaded and used to load explosives in it so of course uh, uh, for storage of explosives the dangerous goods are divided into two categories uh, category 1 which requires ordinary storage of slowways explosives uh, and then there is no magazine required for that but uh, in category 2 you need a magazine uh, for storage Uh, the magazines are also of three types uh, you have uh, type a b and c and then uh, the compatibility groups of uh, g l and s except not otherwise specified uh, require magazine storage so if you are not very familiar with all these things uh, i'll talk about it uh, in a different video in a separate video where i'll take you through the imdg code and the imdg code has these compatibility groups um, uh, in terms of letters so uh, for explosives that fall under the compatibility groups of the letters g l and s uh, except if not otherwise specified required to be carried in the magazine magazines are used for storage of the explosives under falling under that category uh, definition of magazine well it's an enclosure which is designed to protect the goods from damage by other cargo during loading and discharging and also against the adverse weather conditions and to prevent any kind of unauthorized access to the explosives so of course if you have access to explosives then people can misuse it uh, and uh, use it uh, for um, harmful purposes so that's why magazines are used uh, so magazines could be a fixed structure container freight a vehicle or a portable magazine type a magazine is for substances to be stored clear of steel work and the sides and floors are to be close boarded in this magazine by battening a spaced not more than 150 mm apart if a ship sides or bulkheads are supporting the magazine then they should be clean and rust free and all bulkheads and stanchions to be protected by the battens uh, the deck head need not be battened provided it is rust free but otherwise all bulkheads and stanchions should be protected by battens when the magazine type a magazine is being used to load the explosives the top of the stow it should be at least 300 mm below the deck head uh, external parts of the magazine should not have any kind of ferrous metals or aluminum alloy parts type b magazine uh, in comparison to the type a magazine doesn't require any kind of battens on the side or a close boarded floor uh, the goods are stored on gratings pallets or dunnage which is there on the deck of the magazine and the goods uh, are should have direct access to the hatchway type c magazines are same as type b magazines except that cargo is uh, to be as near as possible to the center line and the distance from the ship side to be at least uh, by the distance of the breadth of the compartment divided by 8 or 2.4 meters whichever is less